Yes, the experiment is repeated with other tuning forks and a value of L and F coded, including with including different values of one over A, including values of one over A. So now Reza, you have seen that is the same procedure, isn't it? The same procedure. Yes. Uh -huh. So but as I end here as you conclude. Now this experiment requires you to derive this, to derive and write this, derive what I've just done for you here. Yeah. But you don't end with this. So if you want to uh, you derive uh, by saying that L L plus C equals to a quarter lambda, and then you take you take C to the other side. L L equals to a quarter lambda minus C, and then you substitute lambda, which is equal to D over F. And say L is equal to D over F, isn't it? Minus C. And then you say L is equal to D over 4 into 1 over F minus C. So here you say the intercept, the intercept. Okay, you can first say comparing. From the equation. have to compare. So comparing with y equals to mx plus c so we conclude and say that the end correction the end correction c is there the end correction that sorry the intercept isn't it the intercept the intercept the intercept c is the end correct and correction. And correction. You can go ahead if you want to. You have enough time. Go ahead and show them in the graph that you guys know what this is how my graph looks like. Okay. And put L, then put L, then put C. Put the units here, okay, and here. Okay. Is it okay? Yes. Now let us look at the rest of sound in gases. The rest of sound in gases. Now the rest of sound in gases depends on these factors: the pressure and the density of the gas. Pressure and the density of the gas. So it means that this velocity means that the velocity of sound is v is proportional to the pressure proportional to the pressure t times the density rho, isn't it? So v proportional to p. Zero. Now, if you if you remove this and put the proportional, I mean the cosine, so you produce the constant C. Zero. So now, for us to determine does does velocity vary with the pressure as a square as a square root? So we are going to see. So we have to use dimensions and the dimensions which we just studied, isn't it? Yes. The dimensions which we just studied. So it means that we have to find the dimension of this side and the dimensions of this side, and then we balance them. Once we balance them, we'll be able to get the powers. So it means that we are going to get the dimension of C of k, so k is a constant, isn't it? And then the mention yes. of t, but we don't know, is it a square, is it a square root? So we shall put here x now together, and then the mention of, of the density, we shall call it y here.
Okay, now for this, this is zero stage, and we are finding the direction yes. of zero. zero stage, isn't it? So you should know the formula of zero stage, which is the displacement. Displacement. Yes, over time. Divided by what? Time. Yes, divided by time. So the dimension of time we know it, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's about displacement. L. This person name. Name. So it is L out of what? T. Out of T. Out of T. Which gives that? L T negative one. That is down for G, isn't it? The last. Interesting. Now, we go and determine the one of T pressure, isn't it? Yes. yes. Pressure. Is equal to? Mm -hmm. How do we get pressure yes. force, isn't it? Force over cross section of cross over cross section of what? Area. Section of area. Uh -huh. So what is the dimension of force? How do we get force? Mass times acceleration. Mass times what? Acceleration. Okay, so we have mass. Time is what? Down of acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration due to gravity, isn't it? Uh, now over down of cross sectional area. Just right area. I wish there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from there, what do we get? Mass is mm. the dimension of mass m, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Dimension of acceleration. Yeah, um Lt to negative k. Uh, because it is meters per second, isn't it? Those yes. are the units of acceleration. So it means it is meters is air, isn't it? Yes. And then seconds squared. T yes. power negative, isn't it? So yes. we shall have m then times Lt to power negative k. Power negative k. Out of, isn't it? Yes. Area is? It is. It is um, Length squared. Length squared. So L squared. L squared. Squared. So what do we get from there? We get M L T. L T squared times. No. L. Okay. 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 It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now proceed. What do you get from here? It will be. What team? Are we together? These people have gone. Hmm? These people have gone. What has happened? Network. Okay. Let us proceed. What do you get? So M L power negative one. M L negative. M L negative one. T. Then T power negative two. Uh, okay. So that is for pressure, isn't it? So for mm. pressure is M L. Okay, I don't know what has happened. <laughs> All right. We then proceed. for density. We go for mm -hmm. density. Mm -hmm. Density. So what's the one for density? Density is equals to mass over volume. Mass divided by four. Volume. volume. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. So mass is M, isn't it? M. And yes. volume is? L cubed. Okay. Uh -huh. So what do you get from here? It is M L to power negative three. Negative three. Okay. So we are going to substitute the one for rho. So the one for rho is uh, uh, going to substitute the one for rho. And for P pressure and equate it there. Mm -hmm. Altogether. So yes. we go back in this equation and Make the substitution. So V, we start with V, isn't it? And mm -hmm. our V is LT, LT negative one equals two. We go to K. Let us first leave K because K is a constant, isn't it? Then it's a one. Okay. We shall see what K is. It is not a one, but okay, it is a one. Yeah, it is a one. <laughs> <laughs> but we shall see what K is, okay? So we go to mm -hmm. P. And our P was pressure is there, isn't it? 
which is M, L negative okay. one, T negative three, and T. But all of it to the power what? X. To the power X. Uh, then time was, time was done for density, then to the power Y. Right. So for density, it is? It's ML. Oh, where is it? ML? It's yeah, ML negative one, T negative two. For density? Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I'd say it has. But over, but to the power Y. All together. Yes. Huh. So let us let us now open the brackets here all together. So we have yes. L T. L T. Mm -hmm. M to power X. M, M to the power X. Mm -hmm. Then L to power negative X. Mm -hmm. Then T to power negative two X. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. M to power Y. Then L to power negative three Y. Okay. So here, what do you get? L two to power negative one is equal to mm -hmm. M and N. Mm -hmm. So it is. Oh, um, it will be N x x plus Y. X plus Y. Then L. Then L negative x. Negative x. Then minus. Three. Okay, plus negative three minus three. Minus three y, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then two. Then two. Mm -hmm. Negative two x. Okay, now here, this is one here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is, we are going to equate eh, those powers. Yes. So let us start with the one of, do we have two. m for m? No. This side is zero, isn't it? We have zero. This side we don't have m, isn't it? Yes. If m was there, then it is to the power of zero, which is one. Yeah. So zero yes. is equal to x plus one. Uh, then we go to l. We mm. have one, isn't it? Yes. Can we go to t? Let us see. Okay, let's go to l. So we have one equals two. This, this Negative goes. x minus three y. This was for M and this is for this is for L. L. Uh -huh. So one equals two. Negative, negative x x minus three y. Minus three y. Mm -hmm. And then for t for what for t? Mm -hmm. Negative one is equals to negative two. Negative two x. So I get the value of x. Yeah, you can get the value of x from here. So it means that negative one equals two negative two x. And x this is, is a half. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you can substitute x here and you get the value of y. 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 Okay. So let us substitute and we get the value of y. So zero, it means that here y equals to for m. Negative. Y is equal to negative x, isn't it? So y equals to negative uh -huh. Uh -huh. Isn't it? So now we go back yes. and we substitute in this in this equation here. Okay. Yes. So it means that v which was equal to k t to the power x row y. So we have v is equal to k t to the power uh -huh. a half times rho to the power negative a half. A half. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what does this one imply to you, this one here? Pardon? What does this one imply? So it's what does it imply? This. So this one implies that v is equal to k. So I can write t power half over rho to the power half. Is it okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. 
So P, this one is the same as V equals to K, uh, the square root of P, isn't it, over the square root of rho, isn't it? Sure, but, oh yeah, half means square root, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the same as, uh, put that and say V equals to uh, K, the square root mm -hmm. of P out of rho. Yeah. Isn't it? So yes. they're saying that the K, the K is the ratio of the molar heat capacity at constant pressure to the molar heat capacity at constant pressure. So the K is equal to is equal to that. So where 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 this where where that gamma is equal to C P over C V. Have you studied this in heat under heat? Pardon? Have you studied under what? Heat. No. Molar heat capacity at constant. No. Okay. Let me see if done molar heat. You have not done heat. So this is molar heat capacity at constant pressure. And this one is molar heat capacity and constant volume. So CP over CV. So <clears throat> if K is equal to this, all together, if K is equal to this, yes. so it means that our V in that case is equal to the square root of that ratio divide times p out of rho. But if you are multiplying these ones, which have the same squares, having, like the having both of them yeah. inside the square. square. So that will be, sorry, let me write this. That will be the velocity of sound in glasses. See, you keep having serious network. Yeah, yeah cause I failed to come back. Mm, I failed to come back. Okay, they will see the record of the video. Now explanation. Mm -hmm. They will see the the, the recording of, of the video. And even those ones who are going to watch or are watching this video on YouTube, please go. Mm -hmm and subscribe so that you get more updates and more videos so that you don't miss out. Okay. Mm. Let us proceed. So the explanation we are saying that when temperature of air is increased, mm, when the temperature of air is increased, mm, increasing the temperature, do you know what happens? Yes, the pressure uh -huh. increases. The pressure incre increases. So we're saying if the air is not restricted in volume, meaning that if more air is not restricted in volume, you expect the air to expand, to expand, and the volume to increase, increase. Are we together? Now yes. we yeah, so we know that if air expands, suppose air is in that balloon and it expands, mm. uh, its volume is going to increase increase isn't it mm -hmm. so that once the mm -hmm. volume in, the volume will increase okay so we know that density density we know that density equals to mass divided by volume isn't it mm. if the volume increases here because the air has expanded what will happen to the mm. density it will reduce yes. it will reduce Oh, team, are you back? Yes, I'm back. Hey, what happened? I, I don't know. I, I got disconnected. You got disconnected. Maybe yeah. network. Once network dies off, or if someone calls you, network. 
network goes off and you can and and you get disconnected. Okay. So let us proceed. So they are saying that we are trying our team we are trying to we have derived this. Mm -hmm. uh, we have derived this and this yes. this this that looks as white is gamma. This letter is gamma down in the square root is gamma. And it is a ratio of molar heat capacity at constant pressure to the molar heat capacity at constant volume. The CP over the C over the CV. So normally these ratios are given. They are given. They are constants and they are given. So they will be given to you and you find that ratio between the molar heat capacity at constant pressure and the molar heat capacity at constant volume. So we have derived this, V is equal to this ratio times the pressure divided by the, the density. Now here they are telling us that when the temperature of the air increases, the pressure of the gas increases. Once the temperature increases, we expect the pressure to increase. If the air is not restricted in volume, so if air is allowed to expand altogether, it means that this air is going to expand and its volume is going to increase. It's going to increase. Uh -huh. Once the volume increases, there will be a reduction in the depth. Best. The density reduces. So from the above expression, a reduction in density leads to an increase in value because this is density, isn't it? Once density yes. reduces, if density reduces, you expect the velocity to increase. To increase. To increase. So a reduction in the density of the air leads to an increase in the velocity. Hence, increase in temperature leads to increase in the velocity of, sa of sound. So that's why whenever it's very hot, sound moves faster altogether. Sound will move yes. faster because the velocity of the air particles that are carrying the sound waves are moving faster. Because that, that velocity has increased, and that's why the, the particles are moving faster due to the increase in, in temperature. All right. So now we go to the next part. Now we're going to deduce our results. I almost saw your name here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, team. Yes, teacher. Did you see the result? Yes, teacher. Have you seen the result? Not yet. Not yet. People, people did very well. So we are waiting for you. 2020, 2021? I, I don't know. <clears throat> I think 2021 or 2022. <laughs> so you have enough time. For you, for you now, we've had enough time. So we expect, <laughs> we expect to even 21 points. You can make a red so enough time and better results. Okay, let us look at the velocity of sound in solids. <clears throat> dimensionally, I want you to dimensionally prove for me this. The rest of sound it depends on Young's modulus. Do you remember Young's modulus? Huh? Young's modulus. Young's mo modulus. Ochi, remember Young's modulus? I think this is the ratio of stress to strain. Very good. Stress to, to strain. Uh -huh. Once we know the definition, then we can get the dimension. So stress is given, stress is given by what's the formula for stress? What is stress, first of all? Force by area. Force by unit area. Now, force by unit cross sectional F. F. Isn't it? That is stress. So, can, what's the dimension of stress? It's the same as getting the dimension of force. 
and the dimension of A. Area. Isn't it? Yes. So that, uh, so that corresponds, corresponds almost the same as that one of Croatia. The only that we did. <clears throat> so force is given by mass times acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration, isn't it? So we have to find yes. out dimension divided by the A. So dimension of, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the dimension of mass is M. Mm. And acceleration yes. is? M MLT. M M uh -huh. T. It is, for mass it is M, then for acceleration is? Acceleration. Mm. What are the units of acceleration? The meters per? Meters per second squared. Uh -huh. So it means it is L T to the power negative, isn't it? Yes. Because this is M is length meters. So L T to the power negative two. Then divide by area. What's the dimension for area? <clears throat> L squared. L squared. Correct. So that means that dimension is m. Uh, what do you get here? L squared and L, what do you get? You remember one L down. Okay, so you have, uh, so if you take L, L up, if you get L, if you take L up, negative one. negative one. One. Negative two. Like that, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. That is stress. Now, what is the dimension of strain? Strain is the ratio, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so strain its dimension is, it is one, isn't it? Because it is a ratio. Yes. It is the ratio. Yes. Okay. So that means that the dimension of Young's modulus, the dimension of Young's modulus, which is stress divided by strain, so it will be only stress, M, L, out of strain, which is one, isn't it? Which is that? Yes. Okay. So it depends on Young's modulus and the density. So density, we have seen the one of density. I'll not repeat that. Let me repeat it. No. No. So for density, we got it previous. Density is mass over volume, but mass is M and volume is L of Q cubed, isn't it? So its dimension is M, L cubed. So we shall have M, L cubed. Is this okay? Now, that is, that is for density. So they are saying that the velocity of sound uh, is, equal to, is equal to a constant times the Young's modulus in times the day, times the density, times the density. So the dimensions of velocity, we derive the dimensions of velocity. So the dimensions of velocity are L, T, the power negative one. So we shall have. So if we Make that we find the dimension of that and the dimension of this and that. So it means that we shall have L to the power negative one is equal to K. And then for E, it is M L one T negative two. And then for density, it is uh, it is M negative three. So we don't know. We don't know whether it is a square or it is or it is a half. So we shall put x here and we shall put y here. Yes, now we got the question. Okay, I was asking. Yeah? Mm. Like for the young modulus. Eh? Mm. Okay, in case it wasn't young modulus, but when it involved also finding two two of them and they all had they all had dimensions. Eh? Because for strain is one, would you put them together yes, by yes. multiplying 
then like here. So here we okay. see how we divide it, isn't it? There, here we divide it, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. So if also strain had a dimension, eh? maybe the dimension was maybe T, okay? So we have divided this this by T, and you get the whole dimension for Young's more, Young's modulus. But since the dimension of strain is one, so that's why we get this divided by one, and you remain with the same thing. Okay. Mm. Have I answered your question? Yes. Okay. So here, what you are left with is to find the value of x and to find the value of y. Of y. Are you there? Are you steady? We proceed. Members, are you there? Hello, are you there? I'm not yes. Yes, you can. Now let us proceed. So we shall have. So when we, we when we we open up the brackets here, we have L T equals to K, and then we shall have M X L power negative X T to the power negative two X in time on M to the power Y L to the power negative three Y. Are you following? Yes. Okay. So, yes. have you studied this with Mr. Watimone? Yes. And so I expect the answers. I want you to give me the feedback very fast to that remote. Uh huh. L T to the power negative one is equal to. So let me first okay. give, give that K. Let us first give that K. Mm -hmm. So for M, what do you get? M X plus Y. Mm -hmm. L. Then L negative negative x minus three y mm -hmm. then C mm. negative two x. Okay. So now we are going to get the one for L first. For L. Mm. So for L we have so one L. equals to negative one. x minus three y. For T my there. Yes, I'm here. Have you studied trigonometry? I mean, have you studied dimensions? That's the part you are going to. I expect you to, to give me the loudest reply here. Yeah. Okay. Your, the, the volume is low. Your volume is low? Yeah. But I can hear you clearly. Okay, let us proceed. 40. Mm -hmm. Or team 40. Or team now, give us 40. Forty. Mm -hmm. Is it equal to? Mm -hmm. This is. You have negative one equals to. Negative one is equal to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Neg neg negative two x. Yeah, negative two x, isn't it? So from here we yes. can find x, isn't it? Let's find x. So it means that two x. is equal to negative one, two negative two, and x is equal to a half. A half. So we shall substitute the x here and you get the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let us substitute. So we have one, isn't it? I'm yes. substituting one is equal to negative x, but x is a half, a half uh. minus three y, isn't it? Yeah. So I bring this one, it comes one plus a half, one plus a half equals to negative three y. Is it okay? Yes. So what do you get here? We yes. get three over what? Three over two, isn't it? Yes. Is equal to negative three y. So if we multiply by one over three on both sides by negative by negative a side. Eh? Now we're going to understand yes. it. Eh? Negative. Hey, negative yes. side on both sides. So you get negative a half. A half this side uh -huh. is equal to what? Y. Y. Uh -huh. So 
Therefore, it means that our x is a half and our y is negative a half, negative a half. Now, we shall come back and substitute it here. here, here, here. So it means that v equals to k and our e is to the power x, but x, x is a half, a half. Uh -huh. And the density is to the power y, but y is negative a uh half, a uh half. -huh. Okay? So it means that v yes. is equal to k, and this is the same as e to the power half over rho to the power a uh half. -huh. Isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So v equals to k to e over rho, but all of it to the power a uh half. -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now E equals to E out of rho and the square root and set it there. So they're saying that if K is equal to one, they're saying that but K equals to one, therefore V equals to, it's equal to Young's modulus divided by the density and that is the velocity of sound that is the rest of sound in SO. SO so Sorry. Okay. So remember, we have looked at these, these derivations and also these other experiments. Now, we are left with measurement of speed of sound using could it is what? It is tube. It's tube. Okay. So I don't know whether I got copies of these notes. This is this note. When we are still at school, did you get copies? Of no, we didn't. We did not. But you saw them somewhere, isn't it? No. No. No, no we did not. Hey. Now we got the idea, but we get these notes. Have you? Yeah. Yes, you want I come one? and I get them. Yeah. So, so you want me to come and get them? Hey, once you, if you get time. And or team, okay. or team, I don't know what you shall do, but. One They are very. You see the letters are very. Are very small. Eh? Yes. But when you come back, I'll, I'll give, I'll give everyone. Otherwise, okay. thank you for, for being attentive. I think you have.